Darren Alexander, the Little Rock nonprofit Arkansas Period Poverty Project, is hoping the second time is a charm. Originally, the proposal was rejected, citing concerns about how the proposal complied with the definition of feminine hygiene products under the Streamline Agreement. I talked with different residents today, and those I spoke with all agree it's a need in the state. I think that's great. I think delivering like more affordable care to uh, women and and uh, you know men with kids is just is a great opportunity for everybody. I just spent like over ten dollars this week because I had to go replenish my stock and just that even more every month. It's it adds up. So just for being able to remove a little bit of that tax off of it would help. I think a lot of people in the long run. Arkansas Period Poverty Project says the proceeds from taxes on period products account for less than 0.1% of Arkansas's total revenue. So the removal of sales tax for these products wouldn't hurt. The second time around, the group included diapers for babies and adults in the proposal. This, this affects every person in your life. You know someone who has a menstrual cycle. You probably know someone who has had a baby. And there's probably an adult in your life who will eventually, if not yourself, need incontinence items. So this is this impacts every person in Arkansas. A total of 71,000 signatures need to be collected before the end of July next year. The organization is planning to campaign all over the state collecting signatures with specific regions in mind. We, we really want those areas where it it is harder to access menstrual products to be able to afford those products. Those are definitely areas we want to target. Leaders of the nonprofit say with the research from the 2021 legislation, Arkansans spend about $3 million a year on the tampon tax alone. And one Fayetteville mother says with the cost of menstrual products and diapers, it can leave a hole in your pocket. Like 40 to $60 um, for diapers um, and including tampons and things that I need. Um, he, of course, when he was smaller, that number was a lot higher. Um, he's working on potty training right now, but in the past, I mean, I was looking at more like 60 to $80 uh, a month for diapers. Lourdes is planning to grow her family within the next few years, and this ballot initiative is something she would vote for. It would just really help us out financially to be able to make sure that he or she has plenty of clean diapers, um, and that we don't have to cut back on maybe some food or medicine to be able to afford that. Um, it would make me feel more secure to have another child uh, if the diapers were less expensive. If they get enough signatures, this will be on the 2024 ballot in November. The nonprofit is also looking for volunteers to help collect signatures across the state. If you're interested in volunteering, we'll have that information on our website, 5newsonline.com. Rachel Williams, 5 News.